Photovoltaic solar arrays generate high DC voltages. The job of the inverter is to safely and efficiently convert this DC energy source to an AC energy feed, allowing the customer to receive as much of the solar panel arrays energy as possible. Inverters are required to handle high voltages and currents under harsh conditions. High temperatures, water and widely fluctuating voltages are all part of the day in the life of a solar inverter. The IP rating of an inverter defines the ability of the inverter seals to prevent water and dust ingress. Although some inverter manufacturers claim high IP ratings suitable for outdoor installations, the quality and location of the seals and ventilation will greatly affect the ability of the inverter to outlast the many years the solar installation is expected to work. Remember, solar panels are generally guaranteed for 25 years of high power operation and the inverter should be expected to last just as long. We've got a really good knife edge seal here, which means that the IP rating at IP65 could definitely be believed as per the manufacturer's specs. Looking at the seal on inverter two, we really don't think that this is gonna last the test of time. temperature inside inverter 1 is uniformly low. The average temperature is below 50 degrees, indicating the inverter's design has very good heat sinking characteristics and is capable of protecting its components from premature degradation. Alright, so we're going to do some thermal imaging here. This component inside inverter 2 is running at a much higher temperature than any of the other components, more than 60 degrees centigrade. Although this is not critically high, it does indicate that this inverter's design is not evenly removing heat and is therefore exposing its components to undue stress. For this we can see we've got some quality components in here everything's put together really well there's a conformal coating over all of the electrical components so all in all a quality build and we can definitely believe the manifest specifications on this particular inverter problem we have with this is the quality of the build on this particular inverter if you look in here we've got some very very shoddy workmanship uh, there's no conformal coating at all, which means in a hum humid area, you will have breakdown of the components over time. It's really questionable if this particular inverter would uh, pass the test of time. So in conclusion, we can definitely see that not all inverters are equal. When you're looking at an inverter, make sure that you verify the specs on it. Number one being the IP rating, number two, the efficiency. These are the two most important factors when choosing your inverter for the longevity of the output that you will get from your system. And ultimately, that's what counts.